Hello and welcome to We Move Hagen. Hey, um, I'm sorry it took me so long today to get this up. It will probably be midnight by the time I post this. So, I'm so sorry that I missed, uh, Fridays. Um, but it will be up. What happened was my computer crashed this afternoon when I got up, um, from a nap. I was really tired and I got up from a nap and I find out that my computer crashed. My hard drive failed. But hopefully I bought a another hard drive already, we were just trying to get it to recognize and we finally found the drivers for that one. So good thing I didn't have to spend another eighty dollars on a hard drive. So it's back up and running and I had my intro for Hades and everything done, ready to post and bye bye video. So anyhow, I hope you love the new Greek intro by the way. I worked really hard on it to synchronize the music. I mean, I cut the song up to synchronize it into 20 seconds. Um, so anyhow, let's go. Um, today's God will be Hades. God Hades. Um, God Hades has four different spellings in Greek. And I will list them here. He is the king of the underworld, which makes it a very misunderstanding, um, misunderstood god. A lot of people, when they think of the underworld, they think of fire, hell, brimstone. Um, in the pagan belief, we do not believe in a heaven or a hell. Um, and without the um, god of the underworld, um, the souls would have nowhere to go. Um, black or white. Anyhow, we don't believe in black or white. We believe everything's gray. So, actually, um, the spirits would not know where to go. They would be overpopulated off. They would have, they would be restless for eternity without Hades. And also, Hades, anyhow, uh, before I talk all of this, before I even read down, have a habit of doing that, his title was King of the Underworld. And he was titled as the Unseen One. Now, back in um, a lot of history, Greek, Egyptian alike, um, when there was a god that people really respected or feared sometimes, um, and Hades was really misunderstood as an evil god when he was not. And so they would call him the Unseen One. And that's his second title, the Unseen One. Um, mainly because of the misunderstanding of Hades. He has six um, name spellings, alternative name spellings. I will list them here for you. And uh, he was the god of uh, death, the dead, the underworld, and the witches. Now, the thing with death is a lot of people feel death. And there really is nothing to feel from death. It's just another uh, life awaiting you, for what I believe. Um, and with Hades, since he was the god of death in the underworld and the dead, people automatically assume that he was evil because of this. Um, people really deaf to darkness, black, stuff like that. And in the underworld, in the Greek belief, in a pagan belief, um, in certain beliefs, um, that the underworld is not what people think. There is two parts of it. Um, I would use uh, Christian belief here. Um, let's say uh, heaven and hell, okay, for my best example. In the underworld, um, it's not really under underworld, you know, it's just a title. Um, the person goes there. Uh, first of all, the reason people used to place um, coins on people's eyelids was because you had to cross the river Syax. Um, I will show a picture of it right here. And then you would have a mess, uh, a rowboat, someone, and this is true also in the Egyptian that someone named this does this. 
um, they will cross you to the other side where you shall be um, judged by the three gods. Um, I do not, I will show a picture if I have them or I can find them in their names right here. Um, they would just basically judge your faith of which way, uh, which way you would go. Now, the under, and anyhow, I'm getting ahead of myself, I skipped something. The reason they give them that coins was for this person to get, brought you to the other side of the underworld. It was, um, payment for him to do so. And that's why they did it. And in this underworld, after you, um, uh, many people think you get torment, suffering and stuff. Not true. Mainly you just take your punishment right there and it's over with. Um, there was a split though. There was a split of the better side and the worst side. Depending on which lifestyle you lived, you may go to the good side or the bad side. Um, in the bad side, it's not fire and brimstone. It's just a lot harder um, suffering for your sins that you did. Not so your sins, because we don't believe in that, but more so your lifestyle. And in the good side, opposite. Um, actually, very nice over there. And Hades is the war, the, both those wars since they're in the underworld. And he's God of the dead, which means that he gods the spirits that are here on earth and that die. And uh, witches, a lot of people don't believe, um, see that, but witches, I mean, who doesn't want to be rich, right? He, you pray to him, I mean, you worship him uh, for witches, and he will grant, I'm not saying he will grant it, but he will help you in, you know, income. And we need that now more than ever in America. Um, his secret animals, he had um, two secret animals. The the three-headed dog, and I will name the white name for it right here. And that was very sacred to him. You see a lot of pictures of him and his three-headed dog with him. And the screech owl. His sacred plant or fruit was the white poplar tree, mint, uh, cypress, and these two right here. I cannot pronounce them, so I will put them up here. Um, his secret objects were the Helmet of Darkness, the Helmet of Invisibility, Keys of Hades, and the Staff. You would see him with all four of these objects most of the time. Now, the Helmet of Darkness is kind of new to me. Um, I'm not really sure what that was used for. You're probably thinking, oh, well, it was darkness, hello. Um, I'm sure that's not the exact um, pun is for that. But the helmet of invisibility, he would put that on to travel through the underworld so people would not know he's there. It's a very powerful helmet. Um, Keys of Hades was the keys to um, the underworld that he always had it on him. And his staff, um, which we didn't have no purpose that I know of, but he kept it on him all the time. His sacred planet was Pluto. Now, I know astrology has got rid of the planet Pluto and say it's not a real planet. I do so and still do so today. Um, now, the Romans were, um, the Greeks were named after the Roman gods, so the Roman and Greeks are kind of similar, very similar gods. And also the same gods, to me, they're the same. Um, his mother was Rhea, queen of the Titans, and his father was Cronus king of the titans. Now, when they had the great war of the titans, um, when Zeus won with his brother Poseidon and Hades, Zeus was the older one, so he claimed Mount Olympus, um, which was so-called, let's say, heaven area. But it, it's not really for mortals. Um, and then Poseidon got the middle, which was the middle brother, so it makes sense. And um, he was god of sea and water. And if you think about it, Poseidon's a very powerful god. Um, because what are humans? Well, 80 some percent water. Um, and Hades, I mean Poseidon, um, blah, 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 messing up. Hades then got the underworld since he was the youngest brother. And had a very powerful position, same as Zeus. And uh, Poseidon also. Um, so that was important for me to tell. And he was the husband of, um, I can't pronounce her name. Um, she was the queen of the underworld. And actually the daughter of Demetor. 
which I will talk more about her and her mother later on. Um, and Hades is very often not seen without her, and there are some beautiful pictures of here of him and her, especially that one of him with um, her right in front of Hades. It's a wonderful picture. Best picture I've seen of him. And his children were the three entities, goddesses of justice. They were goddesses, not gods. I'm sorry about that. And here they are again, if I didn't already post them. And he had um, a child, two more children, which I will list right here. And that is it, and I hope you enjoyed this um, info about God Hades.